Hello friends, welcome to the Digital Electronics Practicals of FYBSC IT Semester 1. So here we are going to discuss about the basic logic gates and their ICs and how to interface these ICs. So the first practical is about study of logic gates and their ICs and the universal gate. So the logic gates are AND, OR, NOR as they are written here. Amongst that, there, there are some basic gates and then there are some combinational gates. These are the IC numbers that are used for this AND gate, OR gate, etc. So we are going to implement these gates on a breadboard in terms of circuit. Logic gates are basically the building blocks of any digital system. They are basically the electronic circuits which have uh, one or more than one input and one output. It is not necessary that they should have one output always. They can have multiple outputs as well. But the relationship between their inputs and output is based on certain logic. And that logic makes the different gates like AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, etc. Zero volt is considered as logic zero or bit zero and 5 volt is considered as logic 1 or bit 1. Similarly, if they produce the output which is around 0 volt, then that will be considered as logic 0. And if they produce 5 volt or around 5 volt, it will be considered as logic 1 or bit 1. So in general, the output that logic gets give is one but in special cases there can be multiple output bits also can be produced by such gates one thing to note here is that there will always be a time delay between the inputs given and the output produced so this is how the logic gates can be studied the next gate is nor gate which ic number is ic7402 so this NOR gate is again the combination of two basic gates and that is NOT gate and OR gate. So you see NOR gate is result of negation of the OR operator. So we have already seen that how OR gate works. So this OR gate will be inverted by this NOT which is connected after OR gate. So this is the symbolic diagram you see. First we use OR gate and then the output of OR gate is negated. If we have two inputs like A and B, so these two inputs will be calculated or will be used using the logic of OR gate and they will produce the output and that output will be in the form of A plus B. But because we have added NOR gate, sorry, NOT gate here, this will invert the output, final output. So the total formula that or final formula that we can write is f is equal to a plus b bar so here is the truth table for it so since we have two inputs there are possible four different combinations that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so for this four combinations the output of nor gate will be this so in case of this last case only 1 1 the output yielded will be 0 because in case of OR gate for this combination, the output is 1. And since the output is 1, the negation or inversion of this output will be 0. For rest all, the output will be 1. Here is the pin diagram. So in case of pin diagram, now for NOR gate, there is slight change or there is IC number 7402 is implemented with different implementation. If you are going to hold up the notch at upside, this 1 to 7 pin will be on the left side and 8 to 14 pin will be on the right side. So 7th pin is the ground pin and 14th pin is the positive plus voltage pin. Here the change is that the output can be formed uh, or output can be seen at first pin and the inputs are at second and third pin. Similarly for next gate the input pins are 5 and 6 and the output pin is 4. So, so you can see the pin diagram and accordingly we can implement this NOR gate onto the breadboard. Now let us see how to implement NOR gate. 
NOR gate is also one of the universal gate. To implement NOR gate, we require this IC 7402. So, if you are going to hold up this IC like this, where this notch is upside, you will see 7 pins are there on left side and another 7 pins are there on the right side. So, you can count the pins as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and similarly 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14th. This 14th pin is to be connected to the plus VCC and the 7th pin is to be connected to the ground. So you can place this IC on a breadboard this way. Now let us connect this breadboard to the positive and the negative power supply. This power supply is of 9 volt and these ICs works well with 5 volt. So I will be using a register in between this positive supply and the IC. So this register is around 220 kilo, uh, 220 ohm. You can use resistance up to 1 kilo ohm to minimize this 9 volt to 5 volt. Now the next is I need to connect the IC for positive and negative connection. So I am using this 14th pin of the IC and I am connecting it to the positive side. And the seventh pin is to be connected to the ground. So this IC is got powered up. Now the output can be verified on this LED. So for an LED, the longer leg is the positive side of the LED, and the shorter leg is the negative side of the LED. Also, the smaller filament is the positive, and the larger filament is the negative. So I will be using this. LED this way. Now the output of NOR gate specifically is on the first pin. So this output will go to the positive side of the LED and to complete the circuit for LED I need to connect another leg of the LED to the negative. And for this NOR gate the output sorry input pins are pin number 2 and 3 so I will be using this as inputs pin number 2 and 3 so for a NOR gate the truth table is this if both the inputs are going to be 0 0 then only the NOR gate will glow in all other cases like for combinations as 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 the NOR gate will not work that means the LED will not go glow for the case so only the case when nor gate will be activated or will glow is when both the inputs are zero zero so when i'm making both the inputs zero zero this led is glowing if any one of the input is positive the gate this nor gate will not glow so if i'm going to make both the inputs positive led will not glow if any one input is positive LED will still not glow but in case when both the inputs are zero then only the NOR gate will work. So now I was using this first three pins for this input output combination. Now I will be using this next pins to show you or to demonstrate you the another NOR gate on a same IC. So as the first pin was input after this combination The fourth pin of this NOR gate IC will be the output. So I'm connecting this fourth pin to the positive of the LED. And now my fifth and sixth pin are the inputs. So in this case also, when my both inputs are going to be zero, then only the NOR gate will work. So, if both the inputs are going to be 0, then only the NOR gate will work. In case of any input is high, the NOR gate will not glow. Both, even in both input high, the NOR gate will not work. It will only work when both the inputs are low. So, this way the NOR gate can be implemented.